What if you had a thin, lightweight laptop you could take anywhere that could also transform into a powerful gaming PC when you get home? This is the Razer Core V2, a box that gives your laptop the power of a desktop graphics card just by plugging in a single cable. You get four USB ports for your peripherals, wired internet, and you can add multiple external monitors too. It'll even charge thin laptops without a separate power adapter. You do need to provide your own graphics card though. Practically any GPU will fit, so we decided to go all out. This here is a $1,200 NVIDIA Titan XP, one of the fastest graphics cards ever made. I can practically feel your jealousy through the internet. But before we unleash the Hulk, let's see just how well this Razer Blade Stealth can game on its own. Yeah, those integrated Intel graphics kind of suck. But if you plug in the Razer Core, we can crank up the resolution to 1080p and max out the settings, and this game all of a sudden gets beautiful and butter smooth. If you turn off the laptop display and use an external monitor, it's even faster, because unlike the laptop screen, the monitor is directly connected to the GPU. In fact, the Razer Core works well enough to hook up a VR headset without a hitch, as long as we're talking about an HTC Vive instead of an Oculus Rift. But you also don't need a $1,200 NVIDIA graphics card to get value out of the core. When I slotted in a cheaper AMD RX 580, this puny laptop suddenly became powerful enough to play the notoriously PC-unfriendly Player Unknown's Battlegrounds at 1080p and medium levels of detail. And you don't necessarily need to use a Razer's laptop with the core either. My own personal Dell XPS 15 worked great after I installed the right drivers. You just need a PC with a Thunderbolt 3 port that supports external GPUs, although it's a little hard to tell which ones those are. Even a MacBook Pro can work, though only certain models and with certain GPUs. So what's the catch? First off, Razer cheaped out a bit on the Thunderbolt 3 cable. It's super short, which means you'll probably need to clear space for the core on your desk. Plus, the core can get pretty noisy with all those cooling fans inside. Also, you won't get quite the same performance from your graphics card as you would just sticking into a desktop. And there's price. The core costs $500 for the box alone. Add the laptop and graphics card and you could probably buy a more powerful desktop PC for the same money. But tell me, how many gaming desktops can do this? One messenger bag is all I need for my next retro laptop.